We have a lot of direct and circumstantial evidence against Tsarnaev as a principal and a joint venturer in the bombings and the execution-style killing of Officer Collier. The death penalty phase, they have to reshuffle the deck. They are told there are different considerations in reshuffling that deck and what they're going to consider aggravating mitigating circumstances the defense portrays a very young man a very young man who was very american in his acts in how he had gone through school in what type of extracurriculars he was involved with until fairly recently before the bombings where he starts to become one who is following islamic extremist propaganda and i think the defense looks at that on two fronts from a mitigation standpoint. One is that there was something going on in the mindset of this young man that did not exist before fairly recent times to the bombings. And the other is that his will was overborne by a brother who could be very intimidating. And what they'll try and do, I suspect, is pin a lot of the motivation, the intent, and the state of mind that they're going to prove against Sarnaev on the dead brother. He's not going to be at council table, and I think that that's probably going to be a very viable strategic move by the defense to try and show that anything that Sarnayev is being pinned with, they're going to have to, in some ways, um, show that the brother was the problem.